Hey guys, it's Lori. I am on my way to a job right now. And then after that, I'm gonna go pick up a Walmart grocery order. So I'll share that with you. And yeah, I'm actually not feeling the greatest. I've had a cold for three days now. I don't, three or four days. I think about four days ago, I felt it kind of coming on. But then the last couple days and today, I definitely have a cold. But I am on my way to a job and I did call and I, I told her, you know, told her what was going on. I got a cold, haven't been tested for COVID or anything, but I don't think that's what it is. I'm not super worried about that at all. But she said, that's all right. Come on over. It'll be fine. So off I go. And yeah, I mean, and I told her too, when I called, I said, I'm not trying to cancel on you or anything like that, but I am leaving it up to you. Here's the deal. And she's like, come on over. So, okay. Who's this guy? That's different. Huh. He's in one of those motorized chairs. I don't know who that is. But he's walking his dog. So, well, good for him. Okay. Anyways, I'll get back with you when I'm done with my job. Or, or when I get my pickup order. Or when I get to Walmart or something. I'll get back with you at some point. Hey, I've checked in at Walmart. I'm on my way there. And I'm actually almost there. Wait buddy. I thought that car was going to pull out in front of me. Anyway, I had a couple substitutions and one of them, I'm not going to accept it. I don't want it. I ordered some pens and it was very specific. Pens are specific. You want a certain brand, certain colors, and a certain size, right? Well, at least I do. <laughs> they gave me something completely different. It's like, why would you do that? I don't want those, but I don't know if I can refuse it when they go to give me my stuff or not, because you used to be able to do that, but now they send you a text. Like as soon as they realize you have a substitution, they'll text you, you'll get a notification and it'll say you have until such and such a time to accept it or deny it. Well, I didn't see that text until my order was ready, until it was time to check in, so. I don't know. Can I still tell them no? We're about to find out because I'm not, I'm not, I don't want those pens. And I already know from doing it a couple other times that it's a fiasco to try and go inside and return something. As soon as you do the pickup, you might as well just wait and take it back a few days later because it's not even going to be in their system that you bought the thing. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm not going to go inside right now anyways, because I have a cold and I'm going to tell you what, that job that I just did, it wasn't a hard job at all, but I kind of feel like I've been through the ringer. So maybe I should have just told her I wasn't going to be there today. But anyway, that's all done already. So yeah. And another thing while I'm waiting, I'm not going to tell them what spot I'm in. I think they'll figure it out. Where did I put that thing? Now, where did this come from? I like to know where this came from. I have absolutely no idea where that came from. None at all. Put this window down just a touch, just in case they come up while I'm trying to gab. Oh, I found it. Hold on. Okay, so my sweeper. I hate those things that you wind the cord on. To put the sweeper away, you wind up the cord. I hate them. I don't like the ones on this sweeper at all because it's it's not it doesn't stay put so i can't tell you how many times i've gone to get that sweeper out of the back of the flex and the thing gets bumped and the cord goes all over the ground while i'm trying to carry everything the sweeper is the last thing i pick up and i have my arms loaded when i go into somebody's house that gets on my nerves and you gotta fool with it and just like, okay i'm not using those things anymore so i rigged this uh what do you call this thing what are they called Somebody tell me in the comments, what the heck are these things called? <sighs> Anyways, I was using this little thing wrapped around the handle and then you wrap it through the cord and hook it to itself and it's good. Holds the cord just fine. Well, I had it attached to the handle with a wire tie. So right here, it, so it would just like stay on my handle and I didn't have to fool with it. Well, my sweeper went to tip over today and I, as soon as I reached out to catch it, this thing right here, these things are sharp, you guys. It got me right in the arm. Right there, can you see it? Wait, hold on. Right there. 
yeah. It hooked right into my skin. Doggone it. But anyway. So I took that off. I'm going to figure out something else. And I still want to know where this thing came from. I have absolutely no clue. It was right here on my seat. Huh. I don't know. Mysteries. I suppose I'm going to have to tell them what spot I'm in. All right. I'll be back. Okay. I told them I'm in spot number six. So here comes an order, but I don't think that's me. That's kind of big. Mine's not that big. No, it's not me. Uh, but yeah, what was I going to say? Dad got it. Oh yeah. I looked at my other substitution while I was at it and it doesn't look like it's any different. I mean, there's, there's a deodorant that I bought for Chase and it looks like exactly the same thing that I ordered, but it says it's a substitution. So <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll find out in about a minute. So I think that's me. Hi. Hello for Lori. Yes. Okay. Yeah, did you see your substitutions? I did, but I don't want those pens. I didn't see it in time to accept it or not. Okay, I can take that off. Can you still take it off? Yeah. Okay, we'll great. Take it out today. Uh, back seat, please. Yeah. So a friend of mine was saying that at, she lives in Colorado, and she said at her Walmart pickup, all the people that are working at it have ear things and is that something new you guys are going to or don't you know um they don't give us radios out here it's just like a little earpiece so you can hear the radio but we don't need a radio for anything if we're just taking over oh okay but there's people in the store that have like i was gonna say i hope they're not changing it up now the no. pickup thing it seems to go pretty good so <laughs> no ear things here like normally like Thank you, you too. As always, we're going to pull out of the pickup spot and I'll show you what I got real quick. All right, I've got everything laid out now right here next to me. There's not much, but you can see the um, contain. You can see the container of coffee mate back there and a half gallon of milk. I thought I got two half gallons of milk because I have cereal at home that nobody's really eating because we keep running out of milk, but I didn't. I checked real quick on my, I got my receipt already and I checked real quick to see and I did only order one. I actually went to Kroger the other day and I didn't do a haul or anything because all I went in there to get and all I did get was um, a rotisserie chicken because I didn't feel like cooking dinner. And I didn't have anything out. I was tired from working all day. And so I went in and grabbed rotisserie chicken and a container of fried chicken for Chase and Hayden. So, and Josh had some too. I grabbed some of that and I saw on a display they had the cereal. So I thought, you know, it's kind of festive for this time of year. I've got it sitting out on my stand. And so I grabbed two boxes of that stuff. I thought it was kind of cool. And nobody's eating it now because we're out of milk. And I did ask that guy since Vicki Marie Living Life just had a Walmart pickup haul uh, a couple days or so ago. Uh, and she said that it took like 45 minutes. And she said she tried to get out and ask somebody, but they had these ear these things in their ears where they couldn't hear her. She never did figure out what happened, I don't think. But anyway, if you had gotten an answer from them, they probably would have said it was a glitch in the system. They probably did something. They don't have to wear earpieces now. They've got a new system. This is my guess. This is just my guess. If anybody wants to hear it, uh, they've probably got a new system and it's got everybody screwed up because, you know, you always got to fix what ain't broke, right? It seems like that. It seems like, you know, like the bigwigs and corporations always want to make all these improvements that really don't need made and they really just cause more problems than anything. But even if it wasn't a glitch in the system, I'm pretty sure most employees in most places are probably trained to say, I'm sorry, there was a glitch in the system and there probably wasn't. So anyway, well, that was might've been an unnecessary little rant or whatever, but <laughs> okay. So yeah, did I even show you these apples yet? I got a three pound bag of apples too. <laughs> All right, Granny Smith apples for John. This was also back there with all my stuff. This whole stack of bags that, you know, every once in a while they get stuck together. They weren't even attached to anything. There's 10 of them here. It's like, why would you give me those? He probably thought, I don't know what to do with them. Just throw them in. So I have this whole stack of bags now. So I really don't want these, but that's okay. I guess I'll use them when I clean out the litter box. 
Oh my goodness. I grabbed some pancake mix. I was going to get this at Aldi when I was there a few days ago, but I forgot. Chase wants to make pancakes, so I just got him the Great Value brand pancake mix. So there's that. Step back here. I also got two cans of the French style green beans, and I got four cans of the cut green beans. And I normally would get these at Aldi, but lately the Aldi green beans have had so many stems, like big long stems in them. John even said something about it. I said, I know, I don't think I'm going to get them at Aldi anymore, at least for a while. Because for some reason, the last couple times I've gotten in there, they've had a lot of stems in them. So anyway, there's those. And I grabbed this cheap bologna. I don't like this red stuff that's around the sides, like a rind you have to pull off. I forgot that this brand has that, but it'll be all right, I guess. Hayden wanted to try some fried bologna, so I'm like, oh, you're going to love it, buddy. He's never had it before. It's like, you're 13. You should have had fried bologna <laughs> at some point in your life. So you can't, you can't live any longer without having some fried bologna. I also grabbed a package of 18 eggs. I don't know what that was. A piece of that bag, I think, was on my sleeve. It was back there. And I grabbed this saline solution, this two pack of saline solution, such a great price. There's another one that's Equate brand and it's more, it's a couple dollars more than this one. And I don't know why, I don't know what the difference is, but this is for sensitive eyes. So, and the other one isn't, but this one's cheaper. So this is the one I always buy. It's starting to get warm in here, by the way, <laughs> in case you wondered. It is 83 degrees outside today and beautiful sunny. I got a two pack of Equate ibuprofen. There's 200 altogether, right? Yeah, each one of them has 100 in it, I guess. I thought I had another one from, uh, another bottle from Costco, but I guess I didn't. I thought I had a backup one. So we're completely out of this. And so I grabbed a couple bottles of those. And this, this was the substitution that's the same thing that I ordered, except it's a two pack. So they gave me a two pack instead. I only ordered one. So, huh. Okay. That's cool. I'll take it. And then this was also a substitution, which I didn't even realize until I saw the bag that it was in. It's got a substitution sticker on the handle. Wow. It is hot in here. Okay. <laughs> I had to blow some air for a minute. These are substitutions. They're the maple flavored sausages. I didn't really want maple flavored. I would have refused this too had I realized, but uh, oh well, I guess, I guess I'll use them. I'm not going to eat them anyway. They're for the boys, but I really don't know if they're going to like them. I don't think Chase will like them. So, yep, I guess I'm going to have to climb back there and bag all this stuff up now. And I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. Still wondering where this thing came from. Don't know. I'll throw these things in the bag too, I guess. Okay. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.